Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCoder.com and welcome back to part four of my tutorial series on building a type racer clone. And in this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on everything that has to do with joining a game. So to get started, we're actually going to cheat a little bit. So in the previous tutorial, we created our create game component. So it looks like this. Our join game component is going to look exactly like this. Except it's going to say join game and it's going to have an extra field. And that field we want is the actual game ID of the game that we want to join. OK, so let's get rid of that. And let us open the package explorer. We're going to create a new component. So right click that new file. We'll call this the join game component. Let's close this and we are just going to copy all this. OK, and all we have to do is just rename this. So join game. And paste that and make that a join game. All right, so from here, we need to keep track of two things. So we're going to come to our state and instead of calling it nickname and set nickname, we'll call this user input. And we'll change this to set user input. And we will initialize this with two properties. So first property is going to be game ID. So we'll say game ID and we'll set that to an empty string. Second property is going to be the nickname. And we'll also set that to an empty string. OK, so now from here, let's go to our JSX. We need two labels now and two inputs. So here we have a label for nickname and here's the input for nickname. So let's go ahead and copy this. And let's paste it. Now the first label and input I'm going to change. I'm going to make this for game ID because I just want the game ID to be ahead of the nickname. So we're going to set the for to game ID. And we'll say here, enter game ID. ID. Now from here with our name prop, what we're going to do is set this instead of nickname, we're going to set this to game ID to match the four. And for the value, we initially set it to the state of nickname. So our state is within user input dot game ID. So that's going to be our value. And for our placeholder, instead of nickname, we'll say enter game ID. OK. So for our second input and label, we can leave the nickname, we can leave this label. Name is fine, it matches the four. For the value, we need to change this to user input dot nickname. And everything else is fine from here. Now what we could do is we need to update our on change method. So what we can do is we could say set user input and we are going to pass in an object. So we're going to use the spread operator to copy over the existing properties within our state. And next, what we want to do is change the current property that the user is typing in. So we'll say e target dot name and we'll set that to the value. OK, so that's all we have to do for our on change here. Next, we need to update our on submit function. And instead of creating a game, this time we are joining a game. So we're going to emit a different event. We're going to call this the join game event. And we are going to send back to the server the user input. OK. So I'm just taking a quick glance over at this. And instead of create game, this should be join game. Let us head over back to the server. Actually, what I want to do is let us just test this out real quick to see if it worked. Make sure that we didn't do a typo of anything. And now let's save this. And I want to head over to our app.js file for React and let us set up a route for this. So I'm going to come up here 
We're going to import it. And then all we need to do is create a route. So I'm just going to copy this, paste that, and we're going to call this game slash join. And this time I wanted to render the join game component. Okay, so I'm going to save this. Now I already have this running in the background, so we could just bring this here to see if it's working. So we're going to go to join game. And this looks good the way that I want it. Enter game idea, enter game ID. And we'll give it a nickname. I'll hit submit. And this shouldn't do anything yet because we haven't listened for the join game event on the server. And this looks good. So our form is working right now. So that's good. And now what we could do is work on the server side stuff. So let us close this. Let's bring up the Explorer. Head on down to app.js for the server. Close that out. Uh, we don't need the join game up. So let's exit that. And what we can do is listen for that event to occur. So I'm just going to say socket dot on. We called it join game. We're going to use async and await again. So let's make this an async function. And what I'm going to do is do some destructuring. So we're going to get back the game ID. And I'm going to rename it to underscore ID. And we are also going to get back nickname. Okay. And since we're using async, we need a try catch block. And we'll just print out an error for now. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is actually get our game. So I'm just going to say let game. And we're going to use mongoose. So we're just going to say game.findById. And we are going to pass it the ID. Next, what we're going to do is actually test to see if the game is open. So if it's open, that means we're allowed to join. If it's closed, that means the game is either over or it's already started. So what we could do is test that out. So I could say game dot is open. And if it is open, what I want to do is join the game. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make the socket join the game. So we're just going to come down here to actually the create game. It's the same exact code. And what we want to do is get the primary key and we're going to convert it to a string. Then we're going to make the socket join the game. So we're just going to copy this and we'll paste that here. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to create the player. So let player is equal to that and empty object. And what we want to do is set the socket ID to the ID of the socket. And then the second thing we're going to pass is the nickname. So whatever the player wants to be called. Afterwards, we're going to add the player to the game. So we'll say game.players.push. And we'll add that player. Then after we've done that, all that's left to do is save the game. So we'll say game is equal to await game.save. And next, we're going to let all these sockets know that this player has joined the game. So we're going to tell our IO server to emit this event for us. So we're just going to say IO.2, and we're going to pass in the game ID, and we are going to emit update game. Uh, I cannot type at all today. And we're going to pass in the newly updated game. Okay. So this is pretty much it for our join game. So I'm going to save this. Let's bring up the terminal. Exit this one. Need to go to the server side and we are going to restart the server. So node app. OK, so the first thing we need to do is in order to join a game, we're going to have to create a game. So let's create a game. We'll hit submit. The game is created. So this is our game ID. 
and let's bring in another browser. Next, we click join game, enter the game ID, we paste the game ID and we type a name. So we hit submit and this is not working. So let's go ahead and see what went wrong. Okay. So, just taking a look at this. Oh, here we go. So we're supposed to await this out. So I'm just gonna type await game.findById. So now this should work. So let's save it. We're gonna restart the server. And now let's see if this would work. I'm gonna bring in these two. So we're gonna create the game first. We get a game ID. We go to join game, paste that game ID in, give it a nickname, hit submit, and there you go. So we get redirected and you can see on top that our game IDs match. So 5EB37, 5EB37. So we were able to successfully join this game. And let me just hit F12 to see if anything happened here. Oh, and you can see here, let me come back here, control B. We go to our app.js within React. You can see that this update game state is being called. So it's being logged. So if I bring back the browser, you see that our update state is being called and our game has two players. Okay, so this is pretty much all I wanted to cover within this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in the next one.